Hey, how's everybody doing out there? My name is Mike, I'm 38 from Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, I grew up in a, real, in a good family also, played sports all my life, grew, uh, went to church every Sunday, never knew the true meaning of Jesus. Um, I was, I dabbled with things, I was adopted also. I had uh, abandonment issues also. Um, had was real popular for for a long time. Um, dabbled with drugs at a, at a teenage years. Um, Eighteen years old, I moved out of my parents' house uh, with my best friend. Um, shortly after that, my best friend turned to me and told me I was the best friend he ever had, and took his own life in front of me. I didn't have. Uh, I had no control over it. I, he didn't even give me a chance to, to help him. I went on for several years, depressed, dabbled with drugs, uh, never knew why. I, it was a empty feeling inside of me. I met a beautiful woman who I married. I was 25. Uh, she gave me two beautiful kids. I, my job, I lived the life of a repo man. Uh, I depths, I, I, I dealt with some very bad people. My. Uh, when my roommate took his life, I put a huge wall up. And when I started my job, I had to put a wall up too. And the only way I could do that is suppress my feelings with drugs and uh, all that. Sorry guys, I'm nervous. <laughs> uh, I am, I was, I'm not. I am a horrible person. I wanted my job and my drugs and women more than I wanted a family life. I dealt for 18 years in hell. Every I knew there was a guardian angel on my shoulder. I knew somebody was looking out for me, but I didn't know the reason why. I didn't know who. I, at my end, I fell asleep for five miles on the highway driving a straight line and smashed into a concrete wall. I got out of the truck and there was nothing wrong with me and didn't know the reason why I would still be here. Until I came down to Chad's Hope, I realized the person was Jesus, who had my, who was looking out for me the whole time. I should not be here. I should not even be married at this time. My son writes me this letter, says, Dear Daddy, I miss you so much. I know you're getting help, which is good. I made a motor, and it actually works. When it spins, it reminds me of our family. The battery is you, the magnet is mom, and the paper clips are Jared, and we all hold it together. We are the coil that spins. I had a real hard time dealing with my favorite person in the world, my care pastor. I had a hard time learning the fact that I wasn't a true father. I raised my kids. My kids didn't know the true me. They knew me in the flesh. They don't know the true person I really can be. My son, my youngest son, Jared, I talked to him on the phone, and uh, I don't ever want him to miss a football game. And I found out he missed a football game, and I got 
well, I can't get mad down here, but <laughs> I said, son, what are you doing? You know, you can't miss a football game, and this is very important for you for life. He says, Daddy, I'll miss every football game if that means coming down to see you. And for him and my, both my sons to say that, for what I put my whole family through and not wanting to be there at home, it's, I give it all to Jesus because he, I should not even be here at this moment. My wife, who I've destroyed, wants to stay, wants to work things out, wants to have marriage counseling. I have to owe that all to Jesus myself too. Romans 12, 2, I think is a good scripture for me. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve that God's will is his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Before I came down to Chad's Hope, I was the devil, full of blood. I came down here, and that's the only way to live with Jesus Christ in my life. You know, the, it's a long road ahead of recovery, and if I just keep Jesus by my side, my only friend I need the rest of my life, I will succeed. I want to thank everybody for letting me talk. And uh, everybody have a good night out there.